Hello, let's talk about everyday carry items again. So once you have your multi-tool, your knife and your flashlight, so you have your basics uh, covered, but if you still want to have some more stuff, there are many options, a few of those you can see here, but not all of them are really useful in my opinion. That's why I want to make a small uh, quick review about these items and I want to put them uh, the good stuff on the right side and the stuff that I think that is not so useful on the left side. So let's start here. This is actually a really small compact and super lightweight rain jacket and it's not some uh, cheapo stuff, it's made by Berghaus, 15,000 millimeters uh, water column, so really waterproof and it's the size of my fist, so really compact and it, yeah, it turned out to be very useful more than once for me, so if you have a bag or a bigger pocket, it's always good to have something like this. And here we have two EDC gadgets that you can use in combination with a big lighter, a full size big lighter. On the left, you have yeah, this so called multi tool for, for big lighters, but it's really, really not that great. The blade here is totally dull out of the box. I would normally never do something like that here. Yeah, and I did, didn't even bother to. Um, sharpen it. There are some other kind of tools on the other side. Small scissors. Again, not really that great. And an eyeglass screwdriver. All in all, very flimsy. Not very useful here. We also have some bits driver, some kind. I find it a bit too gimmicky and I think it's not up to the to really not even hard use but to some moderate use so this goes on this side but this Exotec uh, fire sleeve is actually quite useful it fits a normal size or full size big lighter perfectly and all it does it protects the big lighter made out of silicone and I didn't even wash it to show that maybe it's not for urban EDC use but on the outdoors it's really great and in f as a matter of fact uh, I in the past I used stormproof lighters but actually I think this is more useful because uh, stormproof lighters are not a necessity but a protection from physical impact and whatnot lighter is very useful and on my last camping trip this was very good so this goes on this side again okay now let's move on with credit card sized multi tools this is from Gearbest Chinese cheap stuff but I bought it only to see if I like the principle of these kind of tools and if I liked it I would have bought something more, more high quality tool but I don't know there's no real use for me it has a bottle opener and some drivers and whatnot but I find it too gimmicky and haven't really used it ever so here we go but the Victorinox uh, Swiss card light turned out to be yeah really really great because it uh, provides some tools that are not in your usual uh, multi tool for example like a magnifying glass tweezers a pen stuff like that uh, more more tools even scissors. So, and all in very lightweight, compact uh, uh, packaging. Yeah, really good. It even has light. So, 
this can, you can put in a wallet or in a small bag, something like that. So here we go. Yeah, and now move on to all these small pry bars, veggie bars, or whatever you want to call them. And yeah, I like the idea, and it's always good to have something like that. And in my Expedition Micro Pocket Organizer, I have something like that. I thought it might be useful, but to be honest, all of these are not really for hard use. And when you don't have a hard use pry bar, most of the time I got away with my um, uh, multi tool, namely the flathead screwdriver, is usually enough. For, so I actually never used one of these, any of these. So for me, these are not so useful. Here we have a tube scar for a buff. It's really nice, very compact, lots of uses, so it can be used as a scarf, as a cap, or just to wipe some stuff off. And it's very lightweight, very compact, so good to have. Here we go. Here we have some monoculars. Not your, the usual stuff you see in everyday carry gear, but some people might be useful and here I have two examples one from Steiner and one from Viking by the specs this is a bit better it's 8x21 this is only 6x16 but not only by the specs this of the Steiner is a lot better it also has a lot better optical quality but on the other hand the small one uh, also provides a good close-up view so you can it can be used as a magnifying glass as well but optically this is a lot better but also a lot a lot more expensive both of these are very light but um, with most most stuff when it comes to optics it's uh, you get what you pay for so if you want a budget alter alternative that's optically not that great but not expensive here you go if you want something to replace a smaller pair of binoculars this is the way to go so I would say these are situationally can be useful on some of your multitudes you also have bit drivers and whatnot but here you have a tool with more exotic with pieces so for instance if you want to uh, use it on your radiator or something like that so this might come in handy it's not too big so and it's very cheap here we go and this is a interesting piece it's a telescopic small mirror very nice I like the idea but the implementation is a bit lacking. First of all, the mirror is a bit small, and second of all, you cannot uh, collapse it completely. So it's not ideal for carrying in your pocket or in your bag or something. It's very long. So it would have been perfect if you could just completely fold it over. So for now, I would say. Hmm, they are good. If you find a better implementation, it would be great. Now this one item, really tiny one, is probably out of all of these the best value for money, easily. Again from Gearbest, uh, the prices vary on a daily basis, so I cannot tell you how much it costs today, but I bought it I think for 60 cents or so per piece, and I bought a lot of them. It's a measured, uh, measuring tape of one meter. Scale is um, in um, centimeters and inches. Super lightweight, super small. I bought a bunch of these and I keep them in all of my packs. Very, very useful. Here we have again a situational tool from Victorinox. 
three tools in one the other way around so you here we have a compass magnifying glass and a thermometer and also a ruler on both sides in inches and in centimeters so yeah maybe for how to use for backpacking hiking as a backup tool usually I don't like these button compasses like this so yeah while we had it I would say this is not so great I didn't even buy this I got it for free when I ordered something a knife or something like that but not not really that great quality and not really precise but this on the other hand is a Victorinex uh, quality and it has more tools in it very light so it's yeah I would say situationally it can come in handy another two tools which are very situational but which I like and it's this small brass caliper for me personally it's useful because I have to measure stuff quite often but this is just uh, one that that's very small so I can put it in a small EDC bag and here we have another brass uh, edge angle finder by Richard Kell it's a bit tricky to use on knives so but there's a video on YouTube how to do that so again situational but can be very useful here we have some kind of gear retractor so you can put this clip on your belt or something and the gear you want to carry on this um, uh, carabiner and then it automatically retracts when you pull it. I like the idea. The implementation is also quite good. The quality is nice. Made by True Utility called the Recoil. But to be honest, I haven't found a use for it. I never actually used it. I like the idea and I thought I would use it, but I never really did. So for me, not so useful. Then at the end, you have this um, Chinese replica of the C CRKT Eaton tool about this, Ch this Chinese knockoff to see if I like the idea and I didn't because sporks are fine if you have spoon on one end and the fork on the other but spoon on f and fork in one side is not that idea ideal I really don't like that even though has some additional tools here on the side like a bottle opener and stuff like that and it's really small and shallow so yeah not a huge fan of that so this goes on the left side this one comes with a small pouch which is nice I really like that it's a super lightweight titanium spoon really big a spoon shape handle is short so you can put it in your small packs or kits so yeah I like that one so this goes on the useful side I hope you found that interesting and if you have more ideas comment thanks for watching